Hi everybody, uh, this is another video um, that I'm making uh, regarding the uh, Sony A7 Mark II that I got and it's very specifically on the in-body image stabilization because there seems to be a little bit of confusion out there. Um, I myself found videos and articles telling you that the uh, in-body st image stabilization that usually is five axes becomes only three axes when you put on a lens that does not communicate with the camera body and that would basically mean that the five axis image stabilization only works with native sony lenses as far as i understood correct me if i'm wrong that is not the case um if you put on a, a sony lens and I will try to show it to you. Um, in the settings menu, there is a position, I hope the camera focuses on that, that is steady shot settings. And I cannot, if I select that, um, it gives me an option for automatic or I can manually set. And this is the, the key thing. Uh, this option is not available if I have a Sony lens on. So I will put on another lens. I have a Nikon lens here on an adapter. Um, and if I put this one on and go on into the menu, this position becomes available. Let me try and get this uh, close. Maybe you can, okay, here I go. And here I can set the focal length. Um, this is a 50 millimeter lens. So I set it to 50 millimeters. And if the other camera focuses, you will see that it's set to 50 millimeters. Yes, it does. Okay, now it's set to 50 millimeters. And it, once this setting is done manually, um, the five axis image stabilization will actually start working with third party or legacy lenses. And this was not an essential thing to me, but I got a little bit confused myself after getting the camera because I was reading these articles saying that the five axis image stabilization only works with Sony lenses or lenses that have connections or, or electronic connections that communicate with the camera. The essential thing is that the camera needs to know the focal length of the lens that is attached to the camera. And you can set it manual. And since I'm actually using this camera as a platform for many different lenses, I even set the, the, the option to switch the focal length to my uh, C, um, C4 to the uh, custom 4 button and there I can just go through the different uh, options and it, it goes basically let me just check this for you um, a huge variety of focal lengths it starts at 8, eight millimeters and goes up to wait I mean 1000 millimeters so any option you have and the steps in between say I have a Voigtlander 15 millimeter lens I have a 15 millimeter option um, anything that you may have uh, will be covered and in fact one more little thing when you set the focal length manually uh, and again I have to try to make this thing focus up here the camera will indicate that the in-body image stabilization is active and the focal length it is set to manually. If I change the lens just for the sake of argument to an automatic one like this one uh, and uh, the focal length in this little indicator is gone uh, and that means that the image stabilization is active and you assume that it's uh, active according to 
the the electronics that are in in the camera system so uh, you would just say um, it reads the focal length from the lens so this is just to well get some some uh, issues out of the way that seem to be out there um, I hope I could help some people because if you want to buy a camera like this if you want to invest and maybe you're specifically looking for a solution that will be uh, like a universal platform like I use it for. I have many Nikon lenses, older ones, newer ones, uh, Leica lenses, Canon lenses, and I'm happy that I can use all these lenses with the image stabilization that the Sony provides. So I hope I could help some of you and um, keep watching my channel for news for some updates uh, there might be something coming up soon uh, on a camera that I'm planning to get and um, stay tuned and uh, I hope you enjoy thanks bye bye and see you back soon